The Vincent O'Brien County Hurdle is next. This is two miles and one fur again, so the same course, distance and trip as the Triumph, but a much, much bigger field, 20 odd in this one. And 0 to 140 at the top, we've got Villano Beach for Darren Thompson. Playable Leon Van Rensburg, Fondemort David Hooley, BNS, Craig Beckwith, Baltic Sunrise, Graham Clutterbuck, Temple Girls, Martin Leedham, Battle Earth Flame, CDJ Leggett, Alga Bugraf for Alex Cherry, Glorious Storm, Craig Beckwith, Claims Court, Graham Clutterbuck, Hot Foot Only, Thomas Rogers, About Me, Stu Gray, Crystal Gaze, Obi Wan, Bally Colin, Ramius, Matt Cooper, Go Go Girls, Derek Hinton, Sir Cozy Mover, Alex Cherry, Miles Aura, Thomas Rogers, Australia, Pudre for Obi Wan, Big Bad Bob for Matt Cooper, and Sarah's Owls for Derek Hinton. 20 of them then. And this and away they go, and racing. And heading towards the first of what should be just seven flights in this and it's eight for some bizarre reason so goodness knows how that's happened as we get to the first and they're all safely over it last race was over two miles and one furlong and there are only seven flights this race is over two miles and one furlong and somehow there are eight so we've probably got a bit of a course change for some reason anyway claims courts in front Glorious Storm is in second. And then a gap back to Big Bad Bob, who is in third. As they get to the next, which is going to be the last on the next circuit. And swing left handed now. With Glorious Storm in front. Claims Court second, Big Bad Bob third. And Battle of the Flames and Fondmort. Hot Foot only and Sarah's Owls and Temple Girls after that one. Uh, Baltic Sunrise, Crystal Gaze and Playable. Coming towards the back, Go Go Girls is just the back marker. And it's Glorious Storm who will lead over to third. From Claims Court in second, Big Bad Bob third. And Fonmore in fourth. And Hot Foot only. And Battle of Flames get to the fourth which they all get over nicely hurdling well these seasoned campaigners handicap hurdlers as they get over the fifth and they're all over the fifth although the back Volano beach isn't he unshipped the pilot after the after the flight so Darren Thompson might well be the champion trainer elect for Cheltenham this season but he's not going to win this one and there's an opportunity for one of the other trainers who are on four to join him on five and it's glorious storm in the lead on oh, claims caught in second as they get over the sixth that's the third from home plenty of trainers in this race yet to get off the mark of course and it's glorious storm for craig beckwith in front claims caught of garen graham clutterbuck on the inside battling about these two are a good six or seven lengths clear of hot foot only who's in third then temple girls on the outside is fourth playable is next in fond mort and Battle Earth Flame, Sarah's Owls, he's trying to get into it as well, trying to run on Crystal Gaze, was making a bit of a forward move from the back, but it's Claims Court who's in the lead with five furlongs to race and two more flights to take. Claims Court in front then from Glorious Storm in second, Temple Girls now moves through into third, Fondmort is fourth, then Hot Foot only in Battle Earth Flames as they get over the second last flight, and it's Claims Court and Glorious Storm, here comes David Hooley's Fondmort, his hurdlers are always top notch, and this one just suddenly sweeps into the lead, and Fondmort isn't going to be a handicap blip, it's near the top, so it's not going to be that much of a blip, but he's clear at the moment by about a length, it's Fondmort in front from Claims Court, Temple Girls is in third, then comes Glorious Storm, Hot Foot only in Battle Earth Flames, trying to run on, so too's playable, they're coming down towards the final flight, and suddenly Claims Court gets back up on the inside, it's Claims Court that waits doing, Fondmort, Temple Girls goes past him into second, they race down towards the final flight, then now they've still got a third on to go after that, and over it they go, and Temple Girls lands in the lead, from Fondmort on the inside, it's Temple Girls from Fondmort, Claims Court now looks beaten in third, Temple Girls in the lead by about half a length, Fondmort beginning to fight back, Temple Girls in front, Fondmort under a big weight, is trying to close, Temple Girls is trying to hang on, Fondmort's getting closer, Temple Girl needs the line and gets the line, Temple Girls wins it, Fondmort second in Claims Court and Battle of Flames, Playable and BNS after that, and after the bitter disappointment of our horse, we thought most likely to win Coolest Quest coming last in the Triumph, Temple Girls takes the county hurdle for Martin Leadham 
off a featherweight, really. Von Mort for David Hooley was unlucky in second. Claims court for Graham Clutterbuck third. Battler Flame CDJ Lickett was fourth. And the fifth horse to finish has just eluded me for a second. And fifth was hot for only for Thomas Rogers. So Temple Girls the winner then for Miles Leader. And I must say, we I was really beginning to think it was going to be my first ever festival this winner or winless festival 